Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at my favorite equipment mods that have released over the past year for Farm Sim 22. If you guys are looking for my favorite vehicle mods, I've already got a video on that. I'll link it in the description. Otherwise, let's take a look at today's video. So let's just start right at the top. I would say that my number one favorite trailer is the Lizard 20 foot gooseneck tipper trailer. This one I do know is from 82 Studio. It's just an awesome trailer. You can change up the configurations. You've got a 182,000 liter bit right there. You can also change it from a gooseneck to a bumper pole. It just works perfect. My favorite auger wagons in Farm Sim 22 after the past year has got to be the Dimco 22 series. We've got two different ones. We got an 1100 and a 13. 13 is bigger, so I prefer this one. These are from Customotic and they are just incredible. With headers, there's actually two mods that I prefer. I think they're the best. Uh, of course, first one, the honeybees from Customotic. Yet again, kind of ruling the roost today, aren't they? Uh, these are just incredible. We've got headers all the way from 18 meters down to, I believe it's, yeah, 7.6. These come with a header trailer as well. You can use that. Um, if you're not using things on console, um, if you guys want to go fast there, the only way to do that is with the uh, tool height control for harvester mod. And it's pretty good as well. Just saying. Corn heads are another area where I've got kind of two favorites here. Really can't pick one. One is the Capeo Quasar Pack. This has got three headers in it, the 16, 20, and the 24. The other one that I really, really like, and it might be uh, just a little bit OP, if I could find it, here it is, the Kloss Choreo Pack. It's got an 18 meter head, it's got a 12 meter head in here as well. Uh, we could change up between uh, Kloss, Agco, Case, Fent, John Deere, Massey Ferguson, New Holland, um, or you could just take some of those off as well. You've got all of the colors too, so if you guys wanna change this up to a different color, you can, you can make it match anything you want, and it doesn't have to be um, any brand at all. It could just exist, and there's a header trailer that matches it that you could load up too. Corn heads are something that just got super exciting in like the past month at Farm Sim. I'm so happy. So I got two favorites in here as well for Forge Harvester headers. However, I'll explain. So my favorite one has got to be the FH-15. Even though I really don't use Forge Harvesters that much, this allows me to use different combinations and hookups for the different ones that are base game. We've got an unrealistic capacity in there. And did I mention that this is 15 meters? It's absolutely massive. The other one that I really like are these. So on one side, you hook up via three point, and on the other side, you hook up, at least I think it's three point. Uh, anyway, you hook up these, yeah, through three point right there. And on the other side, you got your forge harvester header. So you can use this with quite literally anything. I think it's pretty cool. Into beat technology, and I gotta be honest with you, or uh, potato technology, I really don't do much with these. Uh, maybe this, cause it's got dual wheels on one side, but a single on the other. I think that looks cool. That's a, it's a bad reason, but it's true. As far as beat tech tools, I guess it's also gotta be the PH Mini. Really don't mess with sugar beets that often. This takes sugar beets out of the ground and just kind of hangs them out right there. It's a bit of a windrow and a harvester all in one. Uh, it's very small, but it works. Sugarcane tech though, this is on a whole nother level, man. This right here has gotta be my favorite tool in sugarcane tech. It is the TAC 10500. Love this thing. You could change it up with a couple different sets of wheels. We've got different tire options. We've also got different light protection. We've got wheel spacing, so you can really pop that thing out there. We've got details on the bucket, different lizard logos. We got different color options as well. Did I mention I love this thing? And you can hook up as many together as you want. It's awesome. And it also holds all of your regular forage crops. It'll hold manure, it'll hold grapes. It's a cool trailer, man. Cotton technology is a tough one because there's really not a lot and they're all really good, but I'm going to have to say the Cotton Tag Trailer 5000 and 3000. So the 3000 we already have in the game, this allows you to hook up to, uh, well, your normal <laughs> three for, uh, five uh, bales, five cotton bales. Uh, my brain is gone. Now, there's a couple interesting things here. We've got a truck, gooseneck, and tractor attachment, which is cool. Plus, we have colors for the main color and the rim color, meaning you can use this with a semi-truck, with a tractor, with like a Telix 3500 or 2020, and it will work exactly the same no matter which one you choose. So I think that's why these 
are the most versatile pieces of cotton technology that we've got. Grapes are an interesting one as well, but I think it's gonna be a mod that just recently released. Actually, I think it released after the one year anniversary, but shh, I won't say anything. It's this, the MP12, or uh, 12 2 oh shit, twin. It's a pruner, but it does two rows at the same time. Um, there's nothing more annoying than pruning your vineyard. Here you can do it twice. Black Sheep Modding just kind of nailed it with this one. The El Hall Scorpio 710. I mean, the rock picker, it's big. It doesn't hold anymore, which kind of stinks, but it's much bigger, much, much bigger. Mulchers are another thing that I really don't use. However, when I do, there's only two that I use. This is one of them, the Loser Katrina. Uh, this is nine meters spread at 21 miles an hour, which is awesome. And then the other one are these. This is a Pima Covert 3M. So that goes on the front, this goes on the back, and you basically got like a butterfly mower set up, but for doing mulching. And they both work really well. So plows is difficult because this, the nine meter version of the 6MT, 9MT for black sheep mounting, this is my number one most used plow in a let's play. However, these are my most used off screen. And then if I'm using, you know, if I'm just playing around, having a good time, there's one of these, yeah, this one from uh, J, or no, 2410. Is that J.A. Moddings? J.A. Moddings is around here somewhere. There's a big John Deere plow. Uh, I think that's it, I'm not quite sure. 16.7 uh, meters, maybe this is it. Anyway, there's a big John Deere plow. I can't remember which one it is, it's been a while, but uh, get a big John Deere plow, you need one. Cultivators suck and I don't use them, but if I was gonna use one, it would be this one from Hispano Modding. Uh, this is their ST820 multifunction of Flexicoil. You got rollers, you got springy cultivator. You can also turn this into a subsoiler if you want. And we've got colors for pretty much every single thing, which is awesome. Disc arrows are another thing that I just don't use, but if I was going to, I would use this, the Mandaco Storm Euro 40. It's gotta be this one. Power Harrows, another thing I don't really use a whole lot, but if I was going to, <laughs> it would use the one that came with the Kubota equipment pack, or there's actually another one down here. I gotta find it first. I think it's the, no, that's not it. This guy, yeah, six meters. Nice and big, that'll work. As far as subsoilers go, there's quite a few of those other mods we've already shown that can do subsoiler, however, if you're gonna use just a standard one, I think this kind of looks cool. The Arrow Arrow. Now, um, that's for Mirror Z. Um, SMI modding team, they've also got this one, but uh, they both look great. They both work really well. And you can change this up. I do like the white. Something about the Ermo stuff just looks so cool. I don't use spaders, so uh, I guess just go with this one. Cedars. All right, so go with this one right here. The Limkin Solitaire 12. You've probably seen this a billion times. It comes with a seeding options mod. Seeding options mod super cool because it adds direct drill and uh, I think that's it actually. It adds direct drill to all seeders and planters based game that don't already have it. So it also includes other things as well, which is super awesome. Custom modding's back. Um, it's my favorite planter in the world. <laughs> the Case 2150 planter, 24 row. That's actually the modded version. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Here's the base game one. <laughs> Uh, I may have done some stuff to that one. This, it's just so cool. I'd love to change the, the, the logos on here and the colors, but custom modding, man, they work their tails off to make this absolutely perfect. And boy, did they. If you want a big roller, go with this one. It's another Mandaco roller, the five plex roller. I think it's huge, 22.9 meters. Ooh, how many times have you seen me use this and you're like, yeah, DJ, just use something else. I got to. This is a uh, in the sprayers at least. This is the Kubota XMS 218. It's another mod with the Kubota equipment pack, but this one can go up to 28 meters. We can take the decals off. We can change the capacity to 7,500 liters, and it uses the liquid fertilizer in it. Lowest of all, and then we've got tank options. We've got detailed options, and we've got more colors. Ah, not to be that guy, but this is my video, so I'm gonna be that guy. Um, spreaders, it's another Kubota, another mod from the Kubota equipment pack from Iconic. He did so good with these. So decals again, you could do regular decals or none. XL capacity up to 10,000 liters, which is what I mod mine to be. And he did it too. It also uses uh, solid fertilizer and lime, and it'll use them less frequently as you would in a normal one. And you've got different colors for, for everything. 42 meter spread, 
10,000 liter capacity? Get, get out. When it comes to manure spreaders, there's really not much out there that looks better and works better than the Perard pack. And one of the great things is these do manure and they do lime as well, which is pretty darn cool. Now, I don't know if I've got um, a, uh, was the pumps and hoses installed on this save or not? But if it does, it should also work with that stuff. I mean, 30,000 liters, 24 meters spread. You got different wheel options. Plus, with the Brard Pack, you've got all kinds of other different stuff, too. I think there's like four or five different manure spreaders, at least, just in this one pack. Slurry tanks! You guys know that I like my own colors, and this allows you to do just that. As a matter of fact, I made my own version of this entire pack right here. This is the Samson PG Pack. It's got all the Samson PG models in it. We've got different wheel options, which is nice. Main color options, we've got quite a few, including chrome, so that's kind of cool. And then we've got rim colors as well. Again, all of the above. These are really nice, and they've got some good uh, spreaders as well, or drag hoses you can put on here, which is how you get everything out. They're not actually a spreader themselves. Everything is automated, and if everything is animated, it's just a great tanker. When it comes to weeders, um, if you're not using this one and you're on a big map, I don't know what you're doing. It's a 21.3 meter weeder, and it's from Borgo. It's massive. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's bigger too. 27.4. Holy crap. Grassland Care is a easy one. True winner right here. The Dalbo Mega Roll. DJ, this is not for rollers. Well, this is because this is a grass roller. Hispano Modding took these, the small one and the big one, gave you all your wheel options that you could possibly want, gave you main color options, gave you rip, rim color options. <laughs> About to got the hiccups. And they're grass rollers. This is awesome. Mowers, um, they're they're the Kubota ones. They're the ones that come in the Kubota pack. I'm so sorry. They're just so good. Uh, these are based off of the Cavernland Viking mowers, and uh, they've got every single feature. The thing is that these have that those don't is you can actually see that says 200 horsepower. However, when you go in, it says 180. This is because you can use these on the Kubota M8 that came with the DLC without any issues. The other ones, you kind of run into a problem. They get bogged down a little bit. These don't. So if you're looking for the best butterfly mowers, go with those. There's even a trailed one if you need. Tatters, actually this is another mod that just recently released, the Vermeer TD100. It's very small, only three and a half meters, but it matches the Vermeer DLC equipment perfectly, which is why I love it. My favorite windrow that's been out in the past year is this guy, the R90. This hooks up on a front three point and actually pushes instead of is pulled behind. You've got a bunch of different color options through here, which is nice. And actually, at the time of recording this video, they're getting ready to come out with an update to this in the next few days or maybe the next week or so. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Forge Wagons is another place where there is zero competition. This right here, the TARDIS XL. There's literally nothing that beats it. 200,000 liter capacity. And the newest uh, version of this comes with another one and a trailer that goes along with this to match up. Omatana has done it. As far as balers go, uh, well, this is another one. There's actually four balers in this pack, and the pack's getting ready to be updated as well. Uh, it's the same modder, Hispano Modding, that brought us the R90 front windrow. Well, this is a windrower attached to the balers. We've got Case, New Holland, Corona, and Kloss. So we've got those at least four right now. We could change up a few of these as well with different color options. Um, capacity options are exactly what you would expect. And we've even got different configurations for the front. So we got case or lizard or nothing. And same thing goes over here as well. We've got New Holland logos you could put on the front. As for bell trailers, the Lizard Platform Auto Load. Yes, these, uh, another Hispano modding mod. Uh, these are absolutely massive. You can hook as many of these up as you want together. Lots of wheel options, lots of tire options, some design bell auto loading, yes or no. You've got a normal hitch or a uh, ball hitch. You've got a hitch on the back, main color options, design color options, rim color options, and it comes in four different sizes as well. You've got one that'll hold 28, 32, 36, and 42 bales. Yay! Also, there's a PC-only version of this mod, too, if you want that. This right here should be the only bell wrapper that you guys are using. This is the K-Brand SW4014 
Ultimate. Yeah, this goes with the K brand silage pack from Solar Guy Modding. Did a really good job. And it's also, as far as I know, the only bell wrapper that'll do the largest 180 centimeter round bells and 240 centimeter square bells. Chainsaws is another mod where there's really only one reason to have one mod. It's the long reach chainsaw mod from Yoast Modding. What he's done is he's taken the ones that are base game and he's basically increased it. I think it's like 20 or 30 meters, something like that. Uh, you can cut down any tree from far away. And as far as I understand as well, I think these just got updated. So you can cut down the big sequoia trees as well on Silver Run Forest. This is a cool mod. So logging equipment, as far as that goes, there's a couple mods where you just kind of need to have them installed. You need some type of stump grinder. So like a tree big on that works really well. The Devour Trees mod, if you guys want to do wood chips, that is literally the one to have. Uh, there's so many really good mods through here where it's really hard to kind of pick just one. Uh, this is a really, really good stump grinder as well. Plus, you got multiple different uh, will and tire and color options, etc., etc. And it has, well, it actually has its own machine, but it's not showing up regardless. Um, or you could go with something like this, which is a three-point harvester. There's a lot of really good and useful stuff. It just depends on what you're doing. Um, that's why there's like four or five different things in here. So if we go into animals, we're gonna piggyback off of the last video I did in this series, which was vehicles. And in that, I said, you need the TLX 3500. And one of the big reasons for that is the connections here. So we've got stuff for like an AB tanker that holds 60,000 liters. We've got a feed mixer that'll do up to 50,000 liters. And we've got a few other little bits of bobs here as well. Those are DJ Coham stuff, just ignore those. But if you go with a TLX 2020, for example, that stuff's in here as well. So I think that's kind of cool and it definitely makes doing animals a lot easier in a modular form. Animal transport may be an area where I, I may not be the best person to listen to because I don't actually know which one of these is the best or not because I physically don't use any of them is what it is. As far as levelers go, there's a lot of different levelers and they all do literally the same thing and kind of hook up the same as well. Uh, you could go with something like this from the ZSZ pack and get a little bit extra reach, but um, that's really the only thing special about that. Everything else just kind of is a distributor or a leveler. They all kind of do the same thing, so it's hard to pick the wrong one. Now, as for silage compaction, that's a totally different story, but I think I would still have to go with this one, the wheel roller. It's a lot easier to manage around and you're just pulling it around at the end of the day. These are supposed to help you guys uh, get the silage packed quicker. Um, some of these have extra weight as well. For example, this one, 2.5 ton extra weight, but you gotta fill it up with water. So there is that. And they got different color options. Front loaders are kind of the same as well. They all do kind of the same thing. But one that I really, really enjoy is the MX series of uh, those, the, the MX pack. I believe it just got an update a few days ago as well. For front loaders, uh, CSZ equipment pack. And I'm gonna tell you the same thing for telehandlers and wheel loaders as well. So, and, and skid steers, you could probably just skip those parts, but CSZ, go get it. Next up in wheel loaders, the CSZ equipment pack. Telehandler tools, CSZ equipment pack. Skid steers, well, CSZ equipment pack, of course. Dollies, the CSZ, oh uh, no, TLX dolly, that's the one to get. <laughs> These are great from A2 Studio, and the cool thing about these is you've got all kinds of different wheel options that matches trucks, that matches trailers, all that stuff. So you go through, pick your uh, your decals and stuff, and you'll be like, well, well, decals, there's no real thing there unless you start messing with mud guards, which also match your trucks, which is kind of cool. You can do side marker lights on here. You've got main colors, design colors, frame colors, rim colors. This has got it all. Low Loaders is another one that I've got two favorites. I'm gonna show you both of them. Probably comes to no surprise, the 50 foot gooseneck trailer, which has a uh, nurse trailer option or Bell's auto load version, which is kind of cool. You've also got different wheel like style and setups. You've got the stud up down there, your tail, you could change that up as well. Mud guards, floor styles, attacher type gooseneck or bumper pull extras you can throw some extensions on there you got 20 foot 30 foot 40 foot 50 foot i mean you've got all of it there plus every color option you could imagine it's all here and it works really well even if you don't pull it with a tlx now everyone said the other one's the landall and which just because it's the best semi truck low loader and farming simulator as for header trailers this one's interesting because they're so 
many header trailers that are in the game. We've only got seven mods, but there's a bunch of them included. I've even got some third-party mods installed here. Best thing to do, use the one you're supposed to be using. If you load into a header, for example, we got this one and I'll just choose a random. <laughs> That's got a header on it already. This one, I go to combos. It tells me exactly which header trailer to use. For header trailers, use the right one. There are a lot of weights out there. My favorite one by far has got to be the warning weight from North Mining Company. What this does is allows you to hook up via three point. Then you can kind of control the lighting bar and put it on the top. It comes with just a beacon or you've got a standard or standard with the beacon and you can change the main color of this as well. So it works on literally anything that has a three point. That's really cool. In belt systems, I don't know why this piece particularly is in belt systems, but it is, which I guess makes it a belt system. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. This should be in forge harvesters is where it should be. But uh, nonetheless, this is the one. Driver 53's got a few videos utilizing this and the things it can do is just wild. Winter equipment. What you want to go do is go to the T or say TLX lizard farming salt spreader six ton. With this, you can do 25,000 liters of salt and you can spread the heck out of it. The most full category in farming simulator has to be miscellaneous. There's quite literally anything and everything and all the things and maybe all the things that shouldn't be in here as well. People say, I don't know what this is. It's miscellaneous. My favorite, my favorite has to be the front lifter. For Pepe 978, this goes on a trailer hitch. Well, it doesn't show or say that it does, but it does. And it hooks up and it gives you a three point and it gives you a PTO. You can change this to a couple different colors, which is nice. Usually this is meant for smaller tractors that just have a, a weight or a smaller holder at the front. Um, but you can get into some pretty nefarious stuff with this. So use your imagination and have some fun. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you made it this far into the video, let me know what your favorite equipment mods are down in the comment section. Maybe it's a top five, maybe it's top 10, maybe it's a full list, but I'm there. Let's see them. Otherwise, hope you have a good one. See you later. Peace.